remember to put your seatbelt on because one thing about driving cars safety first remember kids safety first yeah and also who needs a ticket Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Lucas E's Garage, and uh, I just wanted to give you an update on the old uh, Fox Body Mustang. Uh, the hood and the headliner I put in, and so let me show you a few things, and uh, we're going to talk about a few other things, or something like that. But here it is, it's a, as you can see, a beautiful mid-winter day in Phoenix, Arizona. Great car driving weather. I think we're going to have to go out for a ride. We'll show you the car a little bit. But uh, first of all, just to show you here real fast, this is my old grungy clapped out headliner that was just driving me nuts. I showed you guys that before. Got this thing out, got the, the used one in that, that looks a lot nicer than that. And I bought from LMR some new uh, sun visors. I didn't get the ones with the mirrors on them because I don't really care about that stuff. But uh, you can see, especially a driver's side one, it was... 100% destroyed. That was always something that really, really bothered me with the car. But like I've showed you before, and let's take a look inside, that uh, the interior, you know, 30 years old, is is not too bad. It's used. Um, that's just, I got to clean up from taking the headliner out. Uh, stuff falling. And, but as you can see, not a bad interior. It's, it's actually pretty clean. and It needs to be cleaned. It's a little dirty right now, so it can even look better. But uh, that that uh, uh, headliner was just appalling. I couldn't take it anymore. So, boom, there's the new headliner. Looks so much better with the new sun visors. I'm much happy with this. I've had it in for about a week or so, driving the car around. And, uh, boy, just, it's crazy. I, you know, it, it, it bothered, I didn't realize how much it bothered me until I, uh, really looked at it but uh, let's see something else we want to show you is we put the hood in so let's look at the hood and that handled my hood clearance problems and because this car was kind of uh, I don't know paints not really that great it's coming off here right about there and there's a few jeeved areas from the front end collision it was on in or yeah I don't know. I'm thinking about putting some hood pins in. I don't know. I don't really want to put the pins in. I was thinking about some Zeus fasteners. But, you know, all in all, my car is not a beauty queen, that's for sure. It doesn't have the greatest paint job in the world. But the hood was black, and it fits the whole overall look of the car. So we're fine with it. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll paint it, but that's not a top priority. Got other plans. So that's pretty much how we're rolling with this. But uh, So let's let's show you something here. Now this this is what I ended up doing with the hood. Uh, didn't need the hood pins right now, but I'm still kind of worried about it, you know, flying up on me. What I got here is I was able to uh, get the stock latch off the old hood, and it latches pretty good onto the stock latch. And it seems to be pretty secure, but. In order to put hood pins, I've got to remove these stoppers and kind of drill out the hole, and I don't really want to do that. So I was thinking of getting some Zeus fasteners. I got a buddy of mine giving me some. So I was thinking of uh, like taking a bracket and bringing it up high over this and just pulling, just unscrewing these out and just have the Zeus fastener right there, the, the, the connection for, you know, bracket. I don't know how to describe this. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll be in the hood, and then I can go plunk, clank, and be done with it. Just to add that extra security. I'm pretty sure the hood won't fly up, but that's the last thing I need, because whenever a hood flies up, it does so much damage to a car. Got to get working on this. It's looking a little dingy in here now, but uh, 
not as bad as it was back when I first got the car. But I just want to pretty it up a little more. All my work I did, uh, that was like about a year ago or so when I changed all that stuff. Look at how dirty the spark plug wires are. But we'll get that all handled. So that's about that for this. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the car. Um, I got it back in uh, early 2015. It's my first dive into the Fox Body Mustang world. And uh, you know, it, it was a low mileage car, wasn't really beat on. I kinda, from the guy I bought it from, learned the whole history of the car. He got it from someone that uh, bought it brand new. And it was an older lady who just, uh, you know, wanted it because she got divorced back in the 80s and it was her toy, uh, something she always wanted. And she just enjoyed it up until the early uh, 2010, 2011, I think, early 10s. And uh, the only modifications that he did was he put 373 gears in the rear and that Cobra intake. So, unmolested car, the paint was destroyed. He put a paint job on it, mm, you know, garage paint job it's the paints kind of aging already it wasn't that uh, high quality of paint so it's already kind of it would be completely burned off if I wasn't putting it in the garage most of its time but just a super low mileage clean really excellent driving car uh, got it done, done a few things with it like I said it was a GT it is a GT but as you can see I took all the GT package off because I just don't like all the ground effects. I never have. I was looking for an LX, but it comes to be that this worked out really good for me because I really like the GT front end. And, uh, you know, I always wanted, as far as, you know, everybody loves the four eyes. I've, I, this is when I got really into the Fox Body Mustang liking its looks is when in 87, the Aero nose came out, the Aero style. So, I always thought that if I could find an LX rear bumper cover, uh, especially if it was black, I'd snag that thing and I would take those ground effects off. And lo and behold, one day on Facebook, a guy just down the street from me had one. Black. Not perfect, but the car's not perfect. Don't care. But at least it's black. I didn't want something different color. Got it for 50 bucks, put that on and took all the ground effects off. It gives the car the look that I want. My car what I want. It might make the purists upset, but, uh, you know, I don't care. I never was really a big fan of the whole GT look. And I was really happy when I bought the car that it did not have the cheese graters. It had LX taillights already, so that's something I didn't have to do. So, had the car for four years, learned a lot about it by watching YouTube channels uh, that focus on the Fox body Mustang and getting onto the message boards back in 15 message boards were still a little pop more popular now it's more the Facebook boards learned a lot from them I've met some great guys here recently in the Phoenix area and I am going to be doing some videos with those guys and where do you see their Fox bodies I'm like the I'm the the low rent guy although that bunch like Tony's car right here that that's the one that I kind of envision doing to this one day but I don't know if I'm gonna go all out race like his but man his car is just awesome it's like those are the kind of Fox bodies I'm running with and I'll be showing you guys the next meetup we have they got some beautiful cars but uh, you know they're really cool and they allow me to bring my clapped out piece of crap with me and uh, and they don't judge me on it Thanks. Uh, a couple little more things, uh, modifications I did do is I ooh, cut the springs. I hope to one day either go coil over, but that's kind of out of my budget right now, so I might just go lowering springs. But I went ahead and you know set the alignment. It seems to do really good. I have a little bit of bump steer problems, so I got some of those offset bushings to try to put onto the rack. I'm gonna put that in, see how it works. Maybe we'll show that in a video. And, uh, you know, probably one of the best improvements besides the subframe connectors were these tires. I got these uh, BF Goodrich G4 Sport Comp 2s. Man, 
they change the handling of the car. It even kind of keeps the ass from going out. You know, these things are kind of squirrely in the butt. Uh, kind of settled it down a bit with it still being all stock, rear suspension, front suspension. So slowly we're going to be doing some more things to it. That's pretty much the quick story of the car. I've really come to really enjoy this car. It's one of the funnest I've had. I've had, I was mostly a Camaro guy, but I was, I'm really a car guy. I've had Mopars, I've had Fords. I just tend to lean over the years towards the Chevy side. A long time, was heavy into Camaros and Chevelles. And, uh, you know, I took the plunge into this because the older cars I was into were just getting expensive. So I jumped into the 80s and I could have gone the way of the third gen Camaro or Firebird. But I did that in the 80s. And these guys were beating the hell out of us. So I thought I'd jump ship and go into the uh, the 80s Ford camp and get in with the Fox bodies and see what the big deal was. And I learned the day I got this car, oh, what it was about. So let's take you for a ride in it and uh, just show you the, show you a thing out, out there in the sun. We'll, we'll go take a drive. So come on, let's, let's jump in. Alrighty. So, let's take this thing for a ride. I don't know where the hell I'm going. But that's not what it's about. It's a day off, it's a beautiful day, and we, we ride. So, let's, let's, let's ride. So, gotta remember to put your seatbelt on, because the one thing about driving cars, safety first. Remember kids, safety first. Yeah. And also who needs a ticket? They get hard about that. All right, so let's back out of the garage here. have been automatics. The only uh, five speeds I've had is I had a, uh, a Toyota, a 70s Toyota, and I had a Datsun pickup, and I had a Nissan pickup in the 80s. So I always wanted kind of a performance vehicle that had a, had a, a you know, a five-speed, or stick, I should say, four-speed, five-speed, six-speed, whatever. And I got a hold of this thing, and I was just amazed that the torque that I had. Always heard about it, but yeah, now I get it. And, uh, man, oh man, what a blast. I have such a good time with this car. And I have to be honest, it's probably one of the funnest cars I've ever owned. And my whole purpose in getting it too is I wanted something that uh, I want. I was kind of had the bug to autocross, and like I said, well, we're going on to almost five years of had the car. I haven't gone autocrossing yet. I always wanted to go canyon carving in it. Five years on it, I haven't gone canyon carving. Uh, I want to take road trips with friends and whatnot. Five years on it, I haven't done that yet either. I was going to go to uh, the, the roadkill zip tie drags down in Tucson, year four. That's next weekend. I'm not going to that. Why, you say? Ah, you know, life gets in the way. I don't feel comfortable with the car taking in a long trip. Uh, scared. I don't know. Kind of wimp out of it. But what the heck, man? It's time to have some fun. Basically, 
basically since I got the car, like I said, the mod modifications that were done to it was just uh, some 373 gears. That's from what I told. I haven't really checked on it to see if that's true, but reliable source, previous owner, 373 gears, and this Cobra intake. Nothing else, this car is completely stocked. The AC works. Heater does not. In the time that I've owned it, eh, let's fix the camera here a little. In the time that I've owned it, the uh, heater core went out, so I just deleted it. Never really a big need for it, because, uh, you know, it's usually hot. I'd rather have the AC than the heater core, but I know a few weeks ago, the group that I I'm trying to start hanging with, but haven't had the time. They went on a trip and it was really cold, you, you know, even, even for Phoenix. And a couple people didn't have heater cores in their cars, they froze. And I almost went and I had to back out just for, you know, work reasons. And, oh, heck, man. I'd have been chilly. But, you know, it's not one of my big concerns. As long as I got that AC, I tell you, in the summer, it'll kill you. Into it. It's 
approximately got about 90,000 miles on it. I've just got the stock pony wheels, some VF Goodrich G-Force Sport Comp 2s. Great tires. That changed the whole handling of the car. I couldn't believe it. And just a nice set of tires. Paint job, not so great. Kind of dulled out, marked up. I put the stickers on it because eh, it was fun. I get goofed about. Uh, that's a custom seat belt there hanging out. That's that's a cool look. That's the new look that's coming out. Everybody's going to be wanting to get those over at uh, the local auto parts stores. It's a, it's an added item. Just tell them Lucas C sent you. But that's the car, man. That's it. That's the ride. We're back at the house. So there it is. That's the car. We'll be doing more to it. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified, maybe. And then it seems like that's what all the kids on YouTube are saying these days. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. We'll see you in the next episode. Later. Don't ever let anybody move in to an RV in your driveway. Take you back to a little time called Sean Penn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>